I should have done this earlier, but I am ranking the Skylanders based off of mobility and how well they play in game. And I say, oh, I will love you, Crip. Satisfy your Crip. Satisfy your Crip. Starting with Lightning Rod. He has speculatively thick thighs. B tier. Sonic Boom. Got a wide nair. B tier. Ornado. He's got a wide plastron. Uh, a tier. Whirlwind. He has some thick thighs. Noticeably. Bash. He has hella thick thighs here. I'd give him an S tier. Dino Rang. He's got average thighs. An average boomerang. C tier. Prism Break. He's got pebble thighs. Is what we would call him in the business of uh, F tier. Now, Terrafin's got some defined thighs, to say the least. They're still small. B tier, definitely. Now, Eruptor has large hands. A tier. Flame Singer is about average in his thighs. C tier. Igniter has some hot thighs, as you can see. Uh, C tier. Now, Sunburn has a curvy keel. A tier. Now, Cami, uh, Camo has anti sedactyl feet, which will put him at C tier. Stealth Velve, it does hurt me, because this is a baddie, but I mean, this is unexcusable right here. Stump Smash is, uh, he's got the tree trunk thighs, is what we would call them in the business. Uh, S tier. Zook is green, so I put him in F tier. Now, Double Trouble. You'll see there's a huge issue here, especially, it's more visible in this one. He doesn't have thighs. He's the F tier. Now, Spyro is an original character from Skylanders. So he's an S tier. Now you'll notice Boo Dude has uh, Rick High thighs, which kind of rhymes. So F tier. Wrecking Ball has a long tongue. That's uh, F B tier. Boomer, uh, uh, Terrorism. That's not good. Drill Sergeant, you'll notice uh, the very angular. Uh, peak of the uh, train exhaust here. Uh, and that that puts him at F tier. Robot. The uh, the thigh size here is decent. B tier. A well regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Real bony thighs here. F tier. <laughs> is that Spyro? From Spyro the Dragon, Spyro Year of the Dragon, Spyro 2, Spyro Season of the Ice and Flame, Spyro the Attack of the Rhinox, Enter the Dragonfly, Spyro the Cortex Conspiracy, Spyro the Hero's Tale, Spyro Ripto Quest, Spyro Shadow Legacy, and The Legend of the Spyro Trilogy. Ghost Roaster has no thighs. F tier. Hex is blue. I like that's S tier. Gil Grunt's average. Yeah. Yeah, C tier. Slam Bam is the most oiled up character in uh, all of Skylanders. So he's S tier. Wham Shell actually has negative thigh. F tier. Cyclops Snail F tier. He's going to find the best royalty free music for YouTube videos. I really hope that that's gradient and plumage coloration and not that back is gross and doesn't bathe himself. But, you know, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and put him in B tier. Now, Swarm here is labeled as a Hymenopteran insect, which, I mean, clearly just isn't true. And everyone knows that the most important quality that makes a Hymenopteran insect is being small to medium-sized. Which, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm just going to make the assumption here to the proportions that this guy is 
fairly bigger. I mean, look at him in comparison to the fly shown in this picture here. That was low quality, but uh, Swarm as well. <laughs> Outside of that, he has the three sections, head, thorax, abdomen, but he also has legs, which <laughs> normally I would never complain about this, but I mean, come on here. Crusher, the thighs are inexcusable. But I do like the green crystals, B tier. Now, Flashwing, I can already tell from the picture. There's a non-curvy pre-maxillary here. Hot dog. His name's a pun, unlike the others. Which I think is really lame. It's F tier. Hothead looks dumb. F tier. Shroom boom. I'd get high off of his shroom any day. That's A tier. Oh, Tree Rex. Oh, Tree Rex. He has tree trunk thighs. That's S tier. The Ninjini. <laughs> Smash. Honestly, who the fuck calls it pop? I'm going to be honest. Bouncer. No thighs. F tier. Sprocket. You know, I haven't showered or eaten or drank or, or brushed my teeth today. I haven't done simple hygiene, and I've just been working on this. Everything about this character is trying to distract me from the fact that his thighs are tiny. C tier still. Flight Rider, C tier. Aussies, B tier. Now, for chill, I don't feel like ranking this one, so comment down below what you think chill should be. Now, Thumpback doesn't only have small thighs, but he also has, like, I don't know what's going on here, like, coral dermatitis or something? Some sort of infection? Why are we going in a huge circle? No, Last Zone is two elements at once, which was deemed illegal by the committee in 2009. So, that's F tier. Now, Boom Jet is a nice combination of the elements here. We got... Wind and Rocket. I really think that the combination here is A tier. Doomstone has, once again, no legs, no thighs. F tier. We've been there before. There's this interesting thing with Fire Ranger. Where there's a glowing interior bulb by here. That's A tier. I'm going trash star crazy. I'm blade. She called me bladey. Angel. Or demon maybe. S tier. <laughs> it's a fucking dragon. <laughs> it's not a kraken. What? It's, <laughs> it's F tier. I really like gorillas. This is really big for me. It's A tier. Hoot loop. He's got some nice muscle on his fibula here. A tier. Hell yeah. Now this is the kind of situation where... I, I wish I was the snake, you know, you feel me on that, you know, I like B tier, Rubble Rouser has no thighs, F tier, I mean, there's four thighs, but they're still small, C tier, the stink bomb, his sweet, sweeping kung fu attack, makes him suboptimal for gameplay, F tier. You know, I was planning on commenting on his thighs, but wh what does it mean, feline? <laughs> it's not a fucking cat. Tentacles. 
S tier. Quickly ranking every Skylanders Trap Team character. F tier. Bushwhack Scott is dogs out. Now, I can't say the name. I don't think he can either because he looks. He appears to be blue and not black. F tier. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna phone a friend on this one. Brain Rush has too many braids. F tier. I'm just saying. If I was pitted up against a fight with this guy, I could tactically rip the gears out from his exposed back here. I don't think that's very combat effective. I'm going to give him F tier. Now, similarly to what I did at the beginning with Lightning Rod, the picture they provided me here, we could only speculate but I know that gun is covering some thick thighs. So I'm going to put him in A tier. Not quite S tier, because it's still speculative, but those abs are faker than the liver kings. He just put those on the suit. They don't look like that. I would know. I've looked at a lot of abs in my life. A lot of male. It's got a nice stifle. Overall A tier. Good crib. King, Crip, S tier, Lobstar, small thighs, damn. That's our first F tier of the video. Those scissors just look really dull. F tier. Snapshot has what the other Skylanders in this video don't, and that's legs. So I'm gonna put that in B tier. That's unlike Thunderbolt here, who doesn't have legs. So that's F tier. Tough looks green. So, that's S tier. Walla. He looks really cool in this one comic. So, that's S tier. There's one downside to combat effectiveness here. That's that he gives off just short energy. Uh, we still love him though. A tier. There's a list of villains here. Uh, if I could get five likes, I'll, I'll do the rest of them. Oh yeah? And why can't you win a single time at TDRO? I'm handing the Imaginators off to eggs now. Okay. I got the, uh... I got the, uh, this thing. It's in here. Because it looks cool, this thing. Yeah. The, these guys... This one feels like a B to me. This one feels like a B. This one feels like a B. This one feels like a B. I'm thinking this one feels like a B. This one feels like a B. This one feels like a B. This is an S. So, it's just self health. Hey, I'm in my S. This is a C, C, C. It's totally good now. Jumping match. Some B, B, 